name is Diana Dijkstra. I work at the headquarters of PSO Nepal. The work I do is helping them with marketing and communications. I did an image research to get to know what do people know about PSO. Are people aware of PSO Nepal? And I think it's good for PSO that Randstad can help them developing more uh, business-wise. And Randstad gets a lot of insight in what's happening in developing countries. I'm uh, Toko Uchiyama. My assignment is uh, to bring Japanese tourists to the uh, Bagun. So, yeah, I have to communicate with local people and uh, uh, get to know their needs. After that, I have to think about how to bring the Japanese tourists there. I'm the country director for VSO Nepal. This is an international development agency that works through volunteers. What that means is uh, our goal as an organization is to tackle poverty. Um, so we focus our work on the most disadvantaged communities in any country. We analyze what the particular challenges are for those people uh, or those communities. And then we determine whether or not there's a role that we as a volunteer organization can play. For communications, it's important that you see actually what's going on at the field and you experience it yourself. And I visited already different districts where VSO Nepal is working. People are really grateful for the help VSO is uh, giving them. I learned a lot during my placement here in Nepal. It's a great opportunity for employees that you can really see what it is to be in a developing world and actually see what's happening and to work there. It's just a once in a lifetime experience. You gain so many new skills. They see you as the expert and well, sometimes you have no idea because you have to work with less resources, but you get so many insights, not only about yourself, but it's just great. I think I would never experience in the Netherlands.